Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill joints in lining paper. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that are used for this task, please check out the links in the description below. And also, if you're planning on doing any other decorating project, please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are also in the description below. So with that said, Let's do this! The tools and materials that are used for this task is some Jiprog Easy Fill 60, a cork board, filling knife, some worn down 80 grit sandpaper and a dust brush. You can also use neat 180 grit sandpaper as well. Here are some walls that are cross lined and what we need to do is get rid of these joints. And how we lose these joints is, is with some Jiprog Easy Fill 60. If you would like to know how to mix Jiprog Easy Fill 60, please check out the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. Or you can wait till the end of the video and it will pop up on the end screen. Now when filling, the most important thing is to make sure you fill cleanly. The reason why you fill cleanly is because it's less to sand when it comes to sanding. So remember, the cleaner you fill, the less there is to sand. When you're cross lining with lining paper, you're meant to leave a, a mil, a mil and a half gap. You're not meant to butt it right up. At the end of the day, it's just about doing your best. I always say progress and not perfection. Once it's dry, I'll give it its second fill. I'm not having to sand it before I put the second fill on because I filled it cleanly the first time round. I'll only sand it once I've filled it the second time to feather out the edges before I paint it. With my really worn down 80 grit sandpaper, I give it a sand down. And the reason why you don't want to use like neat 80 grit sandpaper is because you'll just tear the lining paper up. You can also use a 180 grade sandpaper as well. Now we've sanded the Easy Fill 60 and give it a dust down, we're ready for giving it two coats of paint. This is the first of two coats of paint that I'll give it. If you'd like to watch a video on how to cut in walls to ceilings, please feel free to check out the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. Or you can wait till the end of the video where an end screen will pop up.
now we're all cut in we're ready to roll if you would like to purchase the roller that I'm using or the similar extension pole please feel free to check out the links in the description below As it's drying, you might see the lining paper bubble like this. Don't worry too much, they should dry out. And this is it. All finished after two coats of paint. Sorry for the poor lighting. I have added a couple of pictures for you to see. And that is how to fill joints in lining paper. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe, please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos, and please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and take care.